We'll stay with Matters Fuel now and the outcry on the 16% value-added tax imposed on petroleum products is not about to end soon as more and more organizations step forward to have their voices heard and the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and Industry has not been left behind. The organization that works to promote sustainable business environment for economic prosperity has condemned the move as they feel that it will negatively affect the economy. Instead, they are advising that uh, the government should come up with other ways to make money and avoid what they term as overtaxing the Mwanainchi. As a business community, we are asking the government to rethink its option for financing its development and recurrent um, expenditure instead of overtaxing various products that already bear a large tax burden. Touching on, pet on petroleum products, the VAT will create a cat catastrophic spiral effect on all prices since practically every product has a transport, transport component in its pricing. We suggest the following strategic measures to be addressed, to be implemented to address this issue. Increasing the tax base. Currently, the KRA is collecting tax from less than 17% of the potential taxpayers, with only 3.2 million Kenyans having filed their tax returns. KRA should widen this tax base to cover over 50% of that tax base. The government must curb its public spending and reduce wastage, which would lead the economy into saving hundreds of billions yearly. The government should focus on reducing its bloated administration by eliminating unnecessary positions. Corruption. This remains a thorn in the flesh of taxpaying Kenyans, who continue to witness money being lost through numerous schemes. The time has come to say enough is enough, and action must be taken to recover lost monies and halt any further bleeding of this.